Hello, it's Helen from Journal with Purpose and welcome to my latest Journal with Me video. I'm using a standard size plain traveller's notebook insert with Tomo River paper that I keep inside a vintage light traveller's notebook cover and they're both from Start Bay Notebooks. I've put an underlay board underneath my left hand page and I'm using a clip that is Tools to Live By brand. And the first thing I'm doing is adding some strips of washi tape and they're both from London Gifties. And I'm going to do this on both pages. I nearly always start off by adding some kind of border because I feel that it kind of eases me into the page. The next thing I'm doing is lightly sketching in a mushroom shape and I'm using a Derwent precision pencil. And on our dog walks I'm seeing lots of mushrooms around at the moment so that definitely inspired these pages. And I'm now inking over the top of that using a black Staedtler pigment liner. Once I've erased the pencil lines, I'm going to add some colour using these watercolour paints from London Gifties. And the three colours I'm using are Burnt Sienna Luster, Raw Sienna Luster and Wand Light. And I'm mixing them in with lots of water because I want a really light wash on the mushroom. And with Tomo River paper, it definitely crinkles quite a lot, but I really like that effect and the paint kind of puddles in a way that I can't predict. But once it's dry, I think it looks really, really nice. I used a heat tool in between adding each of the colors to make sure that they didn't run into each other. I follow Holly Exley here on YouTube, who's an illustrator, and she recently went on a mushroom foraging course, and I loved the sound of that, so I think that's something I might look into locally. Once all of my main colours were down, I just dropped some extra bits of paint on top to add a little definition. I'm definitely no expert at watercolour, but I really love playing around with it in my journal. Once I'd finished with the paint, I decided to use some Distress Oxide ink in Tattered Rose. And I'm using an ink blending tool to lightly rub that around the outside of the pages. And it gives a really lovely soft pink effect. I love using Distress Oxide ink pads because unlike the regular Distress ink, it never seems to bleed through my pages at all. I'm able to use it in this journal and my bullet journal with no problems at all. The next thing I'm going to do is use one of these lovely girl stickers from London Gifties. And I really like the designs on all of them, but I decided to pick one that I thought tied in really nicely with the mushroom because the colour of the hair is a really great match. And I'm going to use some old pieces of paper underneath the sticker, so I'm just tearing them up to get a shape that I'm happy with. And I'll use Pritt Stick to glue those down onto my pages once I'm happy with how they're placed. And I feel that really helps the girl sticker to stand out on my page rather than put her straight onto the white background. I have a storage wallet at the front of my traveller's notebook cover that I use to keep all my pieces of scrap paper in. And I find it really handy to be able to quickly find some to add to my journal pages. The next thing I'm going to do is add some old postage stamps and I've got this envelope here with lots of them in so I'm just searching through to try and find some colours that tie in really nicely with my theme. So I'm looking mainly for stamps with browns in or even a soft pink. 
And once I'm happy with the stamps that I've selected, I just start moving them around on my pages until I get a layout that I'm really happy with. Before adding their stamps to my page, I decided to add some thin strips of brown washi tape right where I'm going to be gluing the stamps. I thought it'd be really nice to just have a little bit of that brown washi tape peeping out from behind each of the postage stamps. To glue them down, again, I'm using that same Pritt stick. And I'm going to do exactly the same at the bottom of my page where I've got those other two postage stamps. And I really like how that little bit of brown looks just slightly peeping through. Postage stamps are such a fun and easy way to add a quick bit of decoration to your journal pages. The next thing I'm going to do is use my vintage alphabet stamps and some brown distress ink. And I find if I use this just with some light stamping that this doesn't show through my page too much. I found these stamps on Etsy ages ago and I haven't been able to find the exact same product again but if you search for vintage alphabet stamps that's probably going to get you something quite close. So I've stamped in the word October and then I'm also adding the words everything changes. I've been thinking a lot recently about how quickly everything changes and that's what I'll be writing about on these journal pages. For some final decoration I'm going to add some strips of washi tape along the centre of my pages and also on the top left and bottom right hand corner. For my journal writing itself, I'll be using a black Muji gel pen. In my journal writing, I'm reflecting on how much has changed this year. My daughter's been away at university for just over three weeks now and she found those first couple of days really tough, as did I. But of course she's now settled into things and really enjoying her life there and her new experiences and friendships. So it's a reminder to me that when things are good to really make the most of every moment and that when I'm going through tougher times to remember that that will also change. I really hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you have, it'd be great if you'd leave it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, I would love it if you would consider subscribing. If you've got any questions or comments, please do leave them down below and I'll definitely get back to you. Thank you ever so much for watching and I look forward to speaking to you really soon in the next one.